Well, Catholic Schools Week continues this week with a look at Immaculate Heart of Mary School, and we are joined by Sister Susan Louise Eater, the school's president, or sorry, school's principal, rather, and Peter Kelly. He is an eighth grader, and he is the president, student body president. Hello, you two. Hello. Nice to be with you. I'm happy to have you both here. Uh, Sister Susan Louise, I want to start with you first. Can you just tell me a little bit more about your school? I'd love to. Immaculate Heart of Mary has been here now for 70 years, and we are a parish school, which means our primary mission is to provide a Catholic education for the children of Immaculate Heart of Mary Parish. However, we're also a neighborhood or a community school. And so all members of our community, all members of the, uh, all those who wish to seek a Catholic education, a good values Christian education are welcome here at Immaculate Heart of Mary School. We're very happy to have people join us, even if they're not parishioners. So um, our primary mission is to the parish, but also our mission is to anyone who is seeking a, a good, solid Catholic education. And really, more than anything, we want to make sure that we are preparing our students for to be successful here in, in, in life and also in eternity, but also to be good citizens of our world, good global citizens who care about others, who care about the world we live in, and who show compassion and love and uh, enthusiasm in their lives. It's so important to learn those lessons, especially right now in today's climate. What are some of the programs and other aspects of the school that make Immaculate Heart of Mary School just special? Well, we have a very robust technology program and have for some time. As a matter of fact, when COVID hit, we were well prepared to move into a virtual education. Our students were prepared and our teachers were prepared. Of course, we had things we had to learn, everyone does. Yeah. but we were prepared for that. So uh, that, that was very helpful. We have a lot of diversity in our school and we welcome people to share about their lives and their backgrounds and their, uh, their culture with us. We also have an excellent fine arts program with our band, our music and our drama program, our, uh, our art program. And that's a wonderful thing to help to develop. So many students just love the arts and it really helps to develop them. We have uh, great athletic programs here Mm -hmm. Lots of opportunities, of course, not so much this year, but generally speaking, we have lots of great um, technology, uh, excuse me, athletic programs. And also we have a very stable staff. And I think that's something that's uh, really important and really helpful. Many of the teachers have been here for quite a few years and they are really dedicated and devoted to Immaculate Heart of Mary School. The families as well. We have families who have been with us multi-generations. And Peter, I, as I understand it, you are part of a family that keeps choosing Immaculate Heart um, over and over and over again. Tell me a little bit about your family relationship with the school and also the extracurriculars that you've been a part of since you've been at the school. Yeah, so uh, my two sisters, Mary Lynn and Bridget, they both attend here. Uh, Mary Lynn and I both arrived early, like in middle school around fourth and fifth grade. And then my sister just arrived this year as a switch from um, all virtual learning in the, in the county to, you know, a really in-person, really rigorous in-person curriculum here. So that's been a very good blessing. So now some of the programs I've been involved in, I've, like Sister Susan Louise mentioned, I'm really, a, I'm, a rust, I'm a robust part of the um, theater program. Okay. That's an award-winning theater program and also an award-winning band. We sound amazing. Mm -hmm. You know, we just, have, we just have great all-around programs. I'm a member of several honor societies. I try to stay involved in the community as much as I can. And I have to ask you, what instrument do you play in the band? Uh, I play guitar, so. You play the guitar. Yeah. All right, I like that. Something for everyone. I like, you, you talked about, you know, um, if you are a theater buff, there's something for you. If you're into music, there's something for you, as I understand. I know there's tech programs and different clubs. So people might be really interested to, you know, check out the school, but I'm wondering what do school tours look like right now? How are you doing that? It's definitely very different. It used to be that families would come and they would tour the school and they would visit the different classes. Obviously, right now we can't do that. So we have to be willing to change. And we have a lot of things on our website so that families can see the school. But we know that there's nothing like a family actually walking in and seeing the classrooms, even though the students and the teachers are not here, which makes it it's not the same. But still, we, um, our admissions director, uh, Julie Baxo, provides tours after school hours. She provides tours on Saturdays and Sundays. Hmm. She's willing to accommodate families and their particular needs. So we have open houses, but it's not really an open house in the sense of people can just stop in. People have to make an appointment. Families have to make an appointment to come see the school. 
she's done it on federal holidays. Uh, really different times. To meet people where they're at. I think, especially right now, that's so appreciated because they want to check it out, but you know, there's a lot going on. So there is. I, I'm wondering how can people get in touch so that maybe they can schedule one of these private tours or small group tours. People can always call the school and for some people that's the easiest thing to do is to first to start off with a phone call to call the school and to speak to someone and then they actually will be uh, be sent to uh, Mrs. Baxo, our, our uh, admissions director, and they can also send an email admissions at ihmschoolmd.org. It's all on our website and uh, we welcome families to go and check that out. We know that it's often easy for people who they might be at a break at work or at home in the evening or whenever they possibly can to take a chance to look on the website and to get some basic information that really does help a lot. And that information is all there for the families, but then they can Perfect. arrange a tour by, a, by contacting our admissions office. All right, Sister Susan Louise and Peter Kelly, thank you so much for being with us, really appreciate it. And we'll be right back with more Midday Maryland right after this, stay tuned. Hey. 